Yes, Class, good. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. All right. I want you guys to sign out from team. Then go log on the YouTube. So I'm going to do a couple videos on cons how to find the surface area that module 19. So sign out, then log on the YouTube channel. So I'm going live. Make sure you have your calculator handy to see what's going on. All right, do you guys hear me? Do you guys hear me? Yes. All right, log out. From team, go sign on the YouTube. Yes, sir. Well, how, how, just click, just click the link. Click with link. He said, he said, sign out and click the YouTube, right? No, you have to go look, go on the YouTube channel. All right. Go look for your disease, disease, your gains disease. And I'll be waiting for you guys. Are you guys logging? Let me know. I'm still waiting. Make sure you can follow. What's going on? Right? It's about finding the surface area of corn, and you're going to leave the answer in terms of pi. Meaning that when you leave the answer in terms of pi, you only leave the pi symbol. You do not replace it by 3.14 or 22 over 7. When they're asking you to use 22 over 7, then you use 22 over 7. If you are being asked, to use 3.14, then you use 3.14. If, uh, if you are being asked to leave it in terms of pi, therefore you just leave it in pi symbol. And this section is mainly about formulas. So I have this formulas on the board for you. Remember last time we used capital B. Capital B is sent for area of the base. Area of the base, in this case, we have capital P. Capi, capital P is for perimeter of the base. And capital C is circumference. Those are terms that you have to know. Sample formulas from elementary geometry. Mm -hmm. If they, they want to, they just need to follow up. All right. You there? All right. No problem. There are about seven in there. So we're going to give you a couple more minutes to see how many of them going to join. Remember, guys, this is for you. If you're not joining, if you're not follow direction, if you're not watching those videos, I don't see how you're going to make the grade. 
So we are using cones, so mainly resemble this guy. So in this case, we're not looking for volume. Volume is a different formula. Surface area of a cone, you need to find area of the base. What shape is the base of a cone? What shape is the base of a cone? Right? The base is a circle, right? In this case, when you're looking for surface area, and surface area is x squared in square unit, your formula you are going to use is SA for surface area. You're going to find area of the base. All right? That will be capital B plus, all right? Pi RL, which is what you call the face, the lateral face. So in this case, R is the radius, L is the slant height. In this case, the slant height. And when you're dealing with a cone, you have to take off three things. The entire, the entire shape is a cone, right? One, it's a cone. Second, what other pictures can you see in the drawing? When you look at that, what other picture can you see? What is the base? What shape is the base of a cone? It's a circle, right? And third, what else can you see? Choose it this part. See white right triangle. So there are three things going on at the same time. So area of the base is the circle, and we know circle to find area of a circle is pi r squared. That's area of the base when you're looking for surface area, right? Pi r l. That's the lateral face of the cone. R is the radius of the circle. In this case, the radius is 14. So we know what the radius is. And they give you the slant height. The slant height in this case is 22. So those are the information that we need to find the surface area in this situation. And remember, you need to have your calculator. Your calculator, your calculator will help you along the, the way. So we have the formula, so we are ready to go, all right? So this is the model they are going to give you. In this case, you will have to convert it. Area of the base, capital B is area of the base, since the base is a circle, area of the circle is pi r squared, plus the lateral area, which is pi r l, radius times centra times pi. And that we, that must be expressed in square in square unit. So since we have the information that we need, then in this case we're gonna plug in those information. Then you will have surface area equal pi, the radius which is 14, and you will take 14 you square it plus pi r l radius 14. This slant height, which is 22. That's the only thing you do it. Then in this case, you have to evaluate it. So I'm just I'm just using my calculator just in case I get some speed, some speed bump. All right. Those things you should go. That would be pi. 14 squared, I believe, is 196. So if I'm not sure, I'm gonna use my calculator. I'm gonna take 14 squared, then that is 196. All right, plus, you will take 14 times 22, 14 times 22, that will give you 385. And you will end up SA equal 196 pi plus 385. In this case, since you have the same common pi, you can add them. Then you will end up surface area equal 196 plus 
Then I'll give you 500 and 4 pi. Then it's expressing square unit. Then I square my unit. Then that's my answer. This is how simple it is. So you have to know your parameters. So in this case, the radius from the center to any side of the circle, only put on the circle that the radius. From the center to the apex, that the height. So remember, it's a right triangle, and this is opposite to the to the 90 degree angle. This is the hypotenuse. So in this case, the other time you will have to use the Pythagorean theorem. In this case, this is H. This is R. This is net height. If you, you if you're looking for either one of them, you will have to use Pythagorean theorem. Right? In this case, is R squared plus H squared is equal to net squared. So that the reason that this is a right triangle. So you have the right to use Pythagorean theorem to go to the equation of cosine tangent. So those are the things that you need to think of when you're doing those problems. All right. Next problem. They give you, you are, you are giving the diameter. In this case, if you're looking at this at the base, they give you from one end of the circle and the other end. The other end it passed to the center of the circle that telling me the diameter is 24, 24 inches. Right? If the diameter is 24 inches, in order to find R, I will take D divided by 2. In this case, R will be 24 over 2, then the radius is 12 inches. So I know the what the radius is. And I know the height is 35 inches. So I know R, I know H in this case, I'm missing L. Then I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem to find the missing, the missing L, which is the hypotenuse. In this case, this is this is H, this is R, and L is missing. This number is missing. In this case, I must use Pythagorean theorem. And that would be the radius squared. In this case, this is 12 squared plus the height, which is 35 squared is equal to slant high squared. So once again, I have my calculator. I know if I take 12 squared, that's going to be 144. I don't know what 35 squared is. I'm going to use my help from the calculator. I'm going to do that. That's going to give me 1,225 is equal to slant squared. So I'm going to take 1,225 plus 144. That's going to give me 1369 is equal to L squared. Now, in order to find L, I would have to take square of each side. Then that's going to, be, that that's going to tell me what the slant height is. So when I take the square root of this, it's going to tell, it's give me it's 37 inches. So I know what the slant height is now. The slant height is 37 inches. Then I know my, I know my radius. I know my slant height. Now I can go use this formula, which is SA equal area of the base, since the base is the circle is pi r squared plus pi rl. This is the lateral face. Then I will have SA equal. Since I'm going to leave my hand center for pi, then I'm going to take the radius squared. That will be 12 squared plus pi times 12 times 37. That will give you the surface area. In this case, I will end up SA equal 12 squared is 144. That will give me 144 pi. Then I'm going to take 12 times 37. That's going to give me 444 pi. Then I'm going to sum them up. This is area of the base. This is the ladiol, ladiol area, which is the face. Then I'm going to add this, 144 plus 444. That's going to give me 588 pi. And I'm using inches, inches squared. Then I'm done with this problem. This is how direct it is. So make sure that you know your parameters. Right? If I was looking for volume, I will have to know what H is. So that's the, that's the only time you use H. 
So I'm going to come back again to use those to solve those problems by finding those those value those values that will give you some more practice in volume problem. All right, and the last one. All right, you are giving that this length height. This length height is given to you. This length height is 25. All right, let me label that. This is the snap height, it's 25. The height is 20. In this case, the radius is missing. Once again, I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem, right? R squared plus A squared is equal to L squared. Then you will, you will find the missing term. And in this case, R squared, you don't know what R squared is. So that's what we're looking for, plus a squared at 24 squared is equal to 25 squared. Then you will have R squared, 24 squared, I believe it's 576, that will be 576, 25 squared is 625, is equal to 625, then you subtract 576 from each side. Then you'll have R squared is equal, you subtract 576 from 625. That gives you 49. Then you take the square root of each side. Then R, R is 7. R is 7 inches. Now I know R, and I know what this length height is. Then I can find the surface area. So I'm going to use some of those information on the board. Then you will be able to find the surface area of this problem. Uh, given that the radius is missing, you still have to find the Yes, because without the surface area, we will not be able to find the area. See the formula? R R uh, is the radius, so it is essential that you find the radius. You need to know the radius and what? And the slant height to find the surface area. Right? If the radius is missing, you have to find it. Right? Either, either they will have to give you the diameter, then you can take the, the diameter divided by two that gives you the radius. But if, you, if they give you the H, which is the height, and the slant height, you can use the Pythagorean theorem, which is this formula, to find the missing one. Right? Anytime you have a white triangle, if you have two numbers, you can find the third numbers. Does that make sense? By plugging it in the Pythagorean theorem. In this case, we know what the radius is, we know what slant height is. Now we can find the surface area. Right? Remember the surface area is equal the area of the base pi r squared, that's for the circle. The radius is 7, you're going to square that, plus pi r7 times the slant height, which is 25. All right, then we're going to, going to do the operation here. We will have sa equal, 7 squared is 49, that will give you 49 pi. Then you will take 7 times 25, 25 times 7, that 175 pi, then you're going to sum them up. Then you will have 49 plus 175. That will give you 224 pi. That will be nc squared, census area. Remember that the asking you to leave the answer in terms of pi. This is the percent symbol. You, you do not replace it. But if you were to evaluate that, they will, they will have to tell you what to use, right? Either 3.14 or what? 22 over 7. Those are the other two options for pi. You can use for pi. So we're going we're gonna to use the same problem now to find the volume. Does that make sense? Find volume of cons. All right? Remember to find the volume. It's capital B. Capital V, right, for volume is equal 
capital B times H over 3. So when you're looking for volume of a, of a con is V, capital V equal capital B times H divided by 3. Right? Since capital B is area of the base, is the, the base is a circle for a con. Then we're going to replace area of a circle, pi r squared times the height over 3. That will give you the volume. And, and remember, the volume should be in cubic unit. All right? So we know what r is. r is 14. So we'll have v equal pi times 14 squared all right? times the height. In this case, we don't know the height. The, you will have to use what? Pythagorean theorem to find the height. The height is missing, but in this case, we're going to divide by 3, then we will go back and find the height. In order, in order to find the height, remember it's R squared, that will be 14 squared. You don't know the height. A squared is equal to 22 squared. Then you will find the height. 14 squared is 196 plus A squared. And 22 squared, I believe, is 484. And you subtract 196 from its side. And you'll have A squared. That will be 484 minus 196. That's 288. And you take square root of its side. And square root of 288 is about 18. 16.97. If you want that to the nearest, uh, to the nearest tenth, that will be about seven, seventeen mc. So it's seventeen, seven, seventeen meters. Then you're gonna replace that here. Then you can go and find that. Fourteen squared is one ninety six. That will be one ninety six, one ninety six five times seventeen. Divided by 3. So you don't take 196. Multiply by 17. 196 multiplied by 17. Divided by 3. That will give you the volume is 100. 1,110.67. 1, Round that to the nearest to the nearest whole number. That will be 1,111 cubic meters. Then you will be done with this problem. All right. The next problem we're going to do is to find the volume of the second one. And we have two more. Then we can call it a quit. All right. In this case, to find the volume, you know the radius. The radius is 12. Since the diameter was 24, you take half of 24, therefore the radius is 12 inches. And the height is given to you, the height is 35 inches. And you will say V equal capital B, which is area of the base, by R squared times H over 3. Then you will not replace those information. Then we find our values. So in this case, you will have V equal pi. R is 12, you square that, times 35, and everything is divided by 3, then you will have V equal pi, 12 squared is 144, times 35, over 3, and you ask yourself how many times there's 3 goes to 144, that will be 48 times, and 3 goes to 3 once. Then you will take 48 times 35, V equal 48 times 48 time 35. That's going to give you 1,680 cubic inches. Then you're done with this problem. That's for the volume. And the last problem, we're going to find volume again. In order to find the volume, we already, we, we already work what was the radius is when we use Pythagorean, the radius is seven. The radius was missing, we use Pythagorean theorem here, R squared plus 
A squared is equal to strength R squared. So we have R squared plus 576 is equal to 625. You subtract 576 on this side. You have R squared is equal to 49. Then you take square root of 49, R is 7. And in order to find the volume, that will be power R squared H over 3. In this case, you will have V equal pi. R squared is 49. 7 squared is 49. And time the height, which is 24, and you divide by 3, that will give you the volume. And this is 3 and 24, can simplify. Therefore, 3 goes to 24 8 times. And you will have the volume 8 times 49. 8 times 49, the volume will be equal, V equal, 392 cubic inches. That will be pi, 392 pi cubic inches. Then you're done. That was Mr. Disease in finding surface area and volume of a cone. All right? Like that and share it, and hopefully you will make the grade.